All right, all right, all right. Welcome to the second edition of Marauder Feud. I am your host, Ryan Schmucker. Let's get started. On my left are the returning champions, MUTV. All right, see if you guys can beat that. On my right are the challengers, Black Student Union. Make some noise. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Now that we've all been acquainted, let's go right into it. James, Rachel, let's go. We have surveyed 100 real people. Name something that people do with snow. James? Shovel it. Shovel it. Survey says. Shovel is up there. It's not the top answer, though. Rachel, if you can get the top answer, your team can take it. What, I what do people do with snow? Build a snowman? Survey says. Yeah! Number one, number one answer. Well done, well done. Do you want to play or do you want to throw it to them? Um, let's yeah. play. You gonna play it? Yeah. They're gonna play it. Just like winners do. Wonderful. All right, we go to Jeff now. Jeff, name something that you do with snow. I like to make snowballs. 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 Okay. Snowballs. All right. What does the survey say? Snowballs number two. Nice. Nice job, with 22 hits. Nice, all right. Eli, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Wonderful. <laughs> do you think you have the answer up there? I do, yeah. You sure? I, no, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Name something that people do with snow. I'm gonna say they make snow angels. Are you sure about that? No. <laughs> snow angels, is that on the board? Snow angels yeah. is up there. He yeah. comes oh, through right. in the clutch. Yes, Diego. Diego. Your team is three for three. Can you go four for four? We'll find out. <laughs> Name something pe that people do with snow. Make a fort? Make a fort. Is make a fort on the survey? <laughs> First oh. X of the match, three for four, going back to Rachel over here. Rachel, you brought it over to your team. Can you keep it going? I think so. What, what is your answer? Name something people do with snow. They eat it. They eat it. I think it's all right. All right. That, that's <laughs> an honest answer. Like honest snow. answer. What's on the survey? Yeah. Eat it yeah. is on there. How do you like that? All right, Jeff. Your going. On, your team leader, I guess, is on. Is now two for two. Why do you guess? I guess because she's the first one. That's why. All right. What is something that people do with snow? I mean, this doesn't have snow in the word, but do they ice skate with snow? Is that possible? Uh, Ice skating. Let's see what the survey says. Oh, second X. I blew it. Eli. I blew it. No pressure. But if you don't get it, it goes to them. <laughs> and they have a chance to steal it and steal all your points. Okay. This is a crucial point. No pressure. Name something that people do with snow. I'm going to go with uh, sledding. Sledding. He wants to go with sledding. What does the survey say? Yeah. Keeps it on the MUTV side. You need one answer. You got this, Diego. Oh, you got it. What the heck, Jeff? Let's keep it friendly. What is something that people do with snow? Something people do with snow. All right. They make. Speak up. Please. Have snowball fights. Snowball fights. Snowball <laughs> fights. I believe that's <laughs> already <laughs> been <laughs> said. <laughs> said. Uh, All right. I'm going to throw it over there. I'm going to count that as a strike. I'm going to bring it over to the Black Student yeah. Union. Guys, there is, there is one answer left on that board. Do you think you have it? Yes. 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 Are you speaking? Yes. We're going to go with skiing. Skiing. This is for all of the points. Yes. yes. Skiing. It's right to you. Oh! Points go back to MUTV. Now, I know we're all curious. What was number six? P in it. P in it was the correct answer. Points go to MUTV. I'm going to throw you all to commercials. We got a lot more game to play. See you soon. Yeah. Ninety-one point seven FM WIXQ, Millersville's number one music source, the university's student-run radio station. Tune in daily to hear a variety of music beyond the top 40s. Want to be a DJ? All majors are welcome. 
Email operationsmanager at wixq.com for more information. Visit us online at wixq.com. 91.7 FM, WIXQ, your number one music source. Body language. Without saying a word, can tell you so much. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time. Time to call 911 immediately. The sooner they get to the hospital, the sooner they'll get treatment. And that can make a remarkable difference in their recovery. Learn the body language, the sudden signs, and spot a stroke fast. <coughs> this is Mike. <coughs> this is where he's sleeping tonight. That's his pillow. He could have been upstairs using Jen's pillow if he would have stuck to just drinking that six-pack. But boys will be boys. And one six-pack turns into two, and then that turns into shots. And before you know it, you've an empty bottle of vodka and a full toilet bowl. <coughs> Welcome back to Marauder Feud. When we, uh, sorry, when we left, MUTV had just gained the first set of points. They are ahead 94 to nothing against the Black Student Union. We're, gonna, we're just going to hop right into it. Jeff, please come over here. Simone, if you would join me, please. All right. We've surveyed 100 people. This is a very specific question, so pay attention. Name a drink that is often served at a child's birthday party. I didn't, I, excuse me, I, mi I missed that. S Simone can All right, be, the, go for it. Simone. I'll be a team player. Way to be a good sport, Simone. Yeah. Hugs juices. Okay, all right. Let's see what the survey says. Hugs juices. Juice. All right. Let's go. You're gonna play. All right. Clap. You're gonna. You got the number one answer on the board. Let's go. All right. Do you think you have it? I think so. All right. Name a drink that is often served at a child's birthday party. Fruit punch. Fruit punch. What does the survey say? What does the survey say? First X of the round. Two more and it goes over to MUTV. Yeah. Sam, name a drink that is often served at a child's birthday party. I want to go with water. Water. That's a good choice. Very general. We'll see what the survey has to say. Water. Water is up there. All right, James, it's coming back to you. Name a drink that is often served at a child's birthday party. Um, milk. Milk. All right, nice, nice. Is milk up there? That's two strikes. Two strikes. You get one more. Goes over to MUTV. They are in a deep huddle. Simone, you brought it over here. Can you keep it over here? Yes, I can. Name a drink that is commonly served at a child's birthday party. Lemonade. Lemonade. That's a great choice. It's lemonade. Lemonade is up there. She keeps it. She keeps it. Sierra, we are now down to you. Name a drink that is often served at a child's birthday party. Iced tea. Iced tea. Nice, nice. Here. Nice tea. Iced tea. That is the third strike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to go over here now. MUTV, you look confident. You look nervous, though. Think you have it? You just need the one, and you get all the points. All right. All of them? All, all the points. <laughs> all the points for oh, this wow. round, at least. Wow. Name a drink that is often served at a child's birthday party. Uh, we're going to go with soda. Soda. Is soda up there? Soda yes! is up there. 
Soda is up there. The points go to MUTV. Yes. And we yes. are going to go to a commercial. See you soon. <laughs> Beat and Pottery Works in downtown Lancaster is your creativity destination. Something new awaits you with every visit. Sit down and let your imagination decorate your own piece of pottery. Visitors can select from over 250 plus combinations of pottery and paints. If you're looking for a quick gift, string your own necklace for that personal flair or design a bracelet or a pair of earrings at the beading studio. The Beadworks and Pottery Works in Lancaster. Creativity for everyone, activities for all ages. Well, that does it for this edition of News 99. Coming up next on MTV, our new hit show, The Vibe, followed by In the Zone with a sneak peek into Donovan McNabb's season. Um, he just said MTV, not MU TV. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, I'm just getting warmed up. All right, let's do it again from the top. In five, four, three, two, one. Well, that'll do it for this edition of News 99. Coming up next on MTVU, oh my our new hit show, The Vibe, followed by... Oh, my God. What happened? MTVU? What happened? Are you serious? MTVU. Oh. oh. We we'll do it from the top again. I, again? I'm getting warmed up. Uh, he said MTVU, not MUTV. And Bobby? We're just going to have Matt do this one, okay? Yeah, I, I'm just going to do it. All right, just... This. Are you good? Go ahead. Go All, ahead. Right. All right. <clears throat> All right. From the top, one more time. Matt, you're closing it. In five, four, three, two, one. That does it for this edition of News 99. Coming up next on MUTV, our new hit show, The Vibe, and In the Zone with a sneak peek of Donovan McNabb. <laughs> Are you serious? All you have to do is sit there and look pretty as I talk. That's all. If you can't do your job, I'm fine with that. But seriously, just just sit there, quiet. Don't, no, no, no. That's all you have to do, quiet, as I talk. Or, I can, can you do your job correctly? I, I, we can do it. Just just we sit can, there we, as I talk. We got this. All right? All right, are we, are we going to do this again? All right, from the top again. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, that does it for this installment of News 99. Coming up next on MUTV, our new hit show, The Vibe, and the... And bleh, 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 bleh. What are you doing? Well, I'm out of ink, and I'm out of paper. Plus the library was closed, so now I gotta write my term paper by hand. You're a moron, dude. You should've went to Cartridge World of Centerville. They have all the ink, toner, and paper you need, even at prices college students can afford. So you don't have to write your term paper with sticky notes. What? Save 10% with your Millersville ID at Cartridge World, the world's leader in ink and toner refill. For rejoining us. We cut to commercial a little too quickly last time, so I'm gonna go ahead and read off the following answers that we did not get to. Answer number six was Gatorade. Gatorade, it's commonly served. And last, number five, Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid is served at a child's birthday party, all right? Last round went to MUTV. Their score is 185 to zero. Let's keep the game going. Eli, Sierra, let's do this. Handshake, good sportsmanship, well done. All right, question number three. Surveyed 100 people, top six answers are right above us. Name an animal hikers fear running into. Uh, mountain lion. Mountain lion. What does the survey say? Number four, number four, not bad. Sierra, if you can get a better answer than him, your team takes it. Name an animal hikers fear running into. Bears. Bears, what does the survey say? That's the number one answer. Looks like they're gonna play. Let's do this. All right, Sam. What name an animal? Hikers fear running into. Skunk. Skunk. Skunks. Skunks. Terrify me. Is it on there? Skunk is number three. Skunk is number three. Let's do this. All right, James. You have the first answer, the third answer, and the fourth answer up there. What? Name an animal hikers fear running into. I'm going to say a coyote. Coyote. It's a good answer. It's a good answer. Let's see if the survey likes it. Survey says. 
first X of the round. All right. Hopefully that's the only one. Simone, name an animal hikers fear running into. A wolf. A wolf. A wolf. A wolf. Yes. I am terrified of wolves. Wolf. Survey says. Second strike of the game. Sierra, you get the third strike, it goes over to MUTV. They're laughing over there. They're laughing at you. Can you do you think you can do it? Think I think you, so. you can keep it over here? All right. Name an animal hikers fear running into. Snakes. Snakes is a great answer. Oh, my all time worst fear. Snakes. Snakes is on there. Snakes is on there. BSU is still in this. Sam, you seem nervous. Are you all right? <laughs> all right, all right. Name an animal hikers fear running into. I want to say hikers fear running into bats. Bats. All right, all right. A lot of cave divers. Bats. Third strike of the round. We are going over here to MUTV. They're coming out of the huddle. Hello. Hello. You have two answers up there. Do you think you have either of them? Uh, we had a couple good ones. You had a couple good ones? <laughs> we had a couple good ones. All right. Gonna, Are any of them going to be your answer? Uh, yeah, we're going to go with. All right. <laughs> Name an animal hikers fear running into. Speak of the microphone. We're going to go. Tree spirit. <laughs> uh, a tree spirit. A tree spirit. A tree spirit. Yeah, a, wood elf. a wood elf. A wood elf. A woodland yes. creature. A mythical, <laughs> not real woodland creature. All right. Just see if it's up there. If, if, I, if, 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 all right. We should. You should be known. If you guys do not get this, all the points go to BSU. Tree spirit slash wood elf. That's an X. BSU gets all the points. BSU gets the first points. They, they are now on the board. Jeff kind of jumped in front of you. He kind of made an executive decision. All right, we have two answers unaccounted for. Number six, Sasquatch. Number six was Sasquatch. All right, I guess people still fear Sasquatch. Number five, number five uh, is raccoons. Raccoons, number five. All right, let's just keep the game going. It's, not, it's actually getting good now. Uh, Diego. Sam, let's do this. Sam, oh, excuse me. Good sportsmanship. I didn't want to get away in that. Sam, your team is playing for a tie. Diego, your team is playing for a commanding lead. We surveyed 100 people. Top five answers are above me. If a witch were riding her broomstick and was not paying attention, name something she could potentially fly into. <laughs> he jumped a little early, but it was Diego who had it. I'm going to say a tree. Tree. Is it on the survey? <laughs> Tree's the number one answer. You guys are going to play. They're going to play. All right. Rachel. Rachel, it's coming to her. If a witch were riding her broomstick and was not paying attention, say she was texting or FaceTiming, <laughs> Name something she could potentially fly into. Another flying animal? Another flying animal, such as a bird, which is the Perhaps. only flying animal out there. <laughs> flying squirrel. They, they're gliders, Jeff, come on. <laughs> Survey says, Ooh, a okay. bird. Ooh. A bird is up there, all right. Nice. By the skin of our teeth. Jeff, your last answer was pretty far out there. Do you think you can reel it in? However, this, is a, this question is pretty far out there, so this might be right down your leaves. <laughs> I'm going to say what first comes to mind and uh, just roll with it. All right. The question is, if a witch were riding her broomstick and was not paying attention, name something she could potentially fly into. Is it a mailbox? I don't know. Let's ask the <laughs> survey. <laughs> survey says, <laughs> no, it is not a mailbox. Eli, that's the first strike. If a witch were riding a broomstick and was not paying attention, name something she could potentially fly into. I'm going to go with airplane. Airplanes. All right, nice. What does the survey say? <laughs> Plane is on the board. And MUTV is still in the game. Diego, you brought 
this over here? Can you keep it over here? You know I can. All right. I like the enthusiasm. <laughs> if a witch were riding her broomstick and was not paying attention, name something she could potentially fly into. A skyscraper. A skyscraper. All right. Nice. Faith in that one. <laughs> He's got faith. Does the survey have faith? It would help. No. No. That surprises me. All right. That is the second X. Rachel. Oh, it's my turn that soon? Really? Yes, that, that quickly. Cool. I don't have to tell you, but I'm going to anyway. Oh, okay. If you get the third X, it goes over to BSU. I probably will. Oh, wow. All right, already <laughs> showing your confidence over here. I don't know, I don't know here. what I like the answer that. is. If a witch were riding her broomstick and was not paying attention, name something she could potentially fly into. A cloud. A cloud, all right. <laughs> I guess you can run into those. What does the survey say? That is the third X. That is the third X. Sorry. Nice try, guys. Let's see if BSU has any more luck. Guys, okay. do you have an answer? Yes. You have an answer. All right. Who is the spokesperson? You? Oh, okay. Okay. I'll repeat the question one more time. If a witch were riding her broomstick and was not paying attention, name something she could potentially fly into. A building. A building. Let's see if, she, let's see if the survey has that. They have it! They have it. It is now a tied game. Anything could happen here at Marauder Feud. I believe we had, we, yes, we have one missing answer left. What was it? Telephone pole. A telephone pole. It was a, li was a little specific. We're going to do one more question. Nope. Excuse me, strike that. We're going to commercial. That's what we were doing. See you soon. It's anybody's game. Anything can happen. The Snapper, home on the latest local news, sports, and entertainment. There's something for everyone. Under completely new management, the Snapper is back on track, run entirely by our student staff. Interested in being a writer? Applications can be sent to thesnapper.com forward slash apply. Join us in Hash 161 every Thursday at 9 p.m. And don't forget to pick up your copy of The Snapper every Thursday. The Snapper, Millersville University's student newspaper since 1925. It's a beautiful day out here. Sunny today with light breezes, giving way to clouds in the afternoon. We could see some light precipitation to moderate precipitation later on, followed by powerful storm-like conditions. 70 miles per hour winds are expected. Authorities are asking everyone, stay indoors. Come on, that's it, let's go. So Blake, you want to do the news at six o'clock now? No, six o'clock is dinner time. You can just eat at 5.30. No, 6 o'clock is dinner time. Hey, Rory. Yep. What time is dinner time? 6 o'clock. In 1977, in Johannesburg, South Africa, an eight-year-old boy picked up the game of golf from his father. By the age of nine, he was already out playing it. The odds of this gentle lad winning the Junior World Golf Championships at the age of 14, one in 16 million. The odds of that same boy then making it to the US and European Pro Golf Tours, one in seven million. The odds of the Big Easy winning the Open Championship once and the US Open Championship twice, one in 780 million. The odds of this professional golfer having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 88. Ernie Els encourages you to learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Early diagnosis can make a lifetime of difference. For authentic Italian dining, go to Nino's Pizzeria. Nino's menu includes pizza, wings, stromboli, subs, and Italian dinners. Stop by from 10 to 2 on weekdays for the lunch special. Nino's Pizzeria, 11 Manor Ave, Millersville.
Welcome back to the final round of Marauder Feud. At the beginning of this round, or at least halfway through, MUTV had a commanding lead. Now, as you can see, they are just behind BSU. This is the deciding round right here. Rachel James, let's do this. Now, before we start, I'd like to uh, ask each of you about your respective organizations and what you do, starting with you, James. Can you tell us a little bit about the Black Student Union and what you do there? <coughs> well, the Black Student Union was founded in 1967, and we just cater to all students on the campus, and we have social and um, entertainment like activities and things, and we also have a general board meeting coming up next Thursday, November 20th, so come out to that. It's called Police Brutality. Okay. And um, my position on the actual board, I'm the PR co-chair, which is why I'm promoing our general board meeting, November 20th, <laughs> in the SMAC atrium. And you were doing a great job of it. <laughs> Rachel, tell us a little bit about MUTV and what you do there. Um, Talking on the microphone. Well, um, MUTV is the channel here. We do all News 99.1. And um, <laughs> well, we um, here I help with all the shows, and we go out and we do field shoots. So that's what I do here. Wonderful. All right, let's get this round started. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Question five: Name something people have to be careful of when they're swimming in the ocean. James. Snakes. Snakes. Is it up there? <laughs> it is not up there. If you get an answer, <laughs> it goes back. <laughs> it goes back over to your side. <laughs> Jeff, you're not in the round yet. Um, I'm gonna say sharks. Sharks is sharks up there? <laughs> sharks is up there. We're going to MUTV. <laughs> Jeff. I recommend something lifelike. <laughs> Name something people have to be careful of when they're swimming in the ocean. Coral. Coral. All right, that's real. Coral, <laughs> is it on there? Baby steps. First X of the round. Eli, do not get that second X, I advise you. Name something people have to be careful of when they're swimming in the ocean. I'm going to say drowning. They have to be careful to not drown. <laughs> careful to not drown. You know what? I don't think a lot of people would, would say that, but let's see what the survey says. Drowning is on there. Drowning is on there. How about that? What are the odds? Diego, trying to keep away that second strike. Name something people have to be careful of when they are swimming in the ocean. All right. I'm going to go with an answer. Might be a bit unorthodox. I'm going to say jellyfish. Jellyfish, that is unorthodox, so is his, but it was on there. Let's see if they can go again. Jellyfish, jellyfish is the second answer. Jellyfish is the second answer. Rachel, we're going back to you. You brought it over here with the number one answer. You need the number three and number four answer. I do. Name something people have to be careful of when they're swimming in the ocean. Riptides. Riptides, riptides, let's see what's going on. Currents is on there. And we're going to see if we can close this out real quick with Jeff. Jeff, <laughs> name something people have to be careful of when they're swimming in the ocean. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm going to have to say killer whales. Killer whales. Is killer whales on there? <laughs> killer whales is not on there. That's the second strike. Eli, come on. Close it out here. Third answer. What do you have to be careful of when you're swimming? Uh, stingrays. Stingrays. Is it stingray? That's the third strike. We're coming over to BSU. Guys, if you get this, you get the win. You upset MUTV, and you get to come back here for next Marauder Feud. What is the number three answer for something you have to be careful of when you're swimming in the ocean? Crates. Crabs. Yes, is crabs on there? Crates. Crabs is on there! Crabs is on there! They've done the upset. BSU is coming back next week. The championship is upset. <laughs> you guys get candy. <laughs> See you next week. I'm Raj Rucker. Good night. Congratulations. This was a great game. <laughs>